All right. Uh, breaking news this morning. We're just learning that for the second time this week, a parent has found themselves involved in a fight with teens. A vicious fight happened in Oshawa just around the midnight hour this morning between two groups of teens. Yeah, somehow a mother also got involved and she was beaten with a baseball bat and is now in hospital with serious injuries. It happened around midnight near Taunton and Simcoe. The mob of teens was apparently fighting over something that had happened earlier in the summer. At some point, a mother, a woman, a mother of one of the kids was struck with a baseball bat. An underage man and a 19-year-old are now under arrest and facing assault charges. It was just earlier this week we told you the story up in York Region in which a father got into a, involved in a fight between mm -hmm. two groups of teenagers as well. He too uh, was, uh, was beaten as well. Uh, we'll have more on that story a little later here on Breakfast Television. Meantime, this is a real shocker. Apparently an attack planned on a Toronto high school thwarted by police just hours before it was set to be carried out on the anniversary of the Montreal massacre earlier this week. Yeah, a 17-year-old is accused of plotting the attack, making threats in a blog post, and arsenal of weapons now seized from the team's home. Oakwood Collegiate Institute near Dufferin and St. Clair was the target of the alleged threat. Someone in the U.S. saw a blog post detailing an attack and tipped off authorities. A source telling City News the FBI was involved. The online message referenced the attack on Montreal's Ecole Polytechnique, which left 14 women dead. In the early morning hours of the 27th anniversary of the attack on Tuesday, police arrested the teen suspected of posting the Oakwood threat, seizing a machete, a hatchet, two swords and other legal weapons. Toronto police were able to track down the suspect following his digital footprints. Through the investigation, we were able to determine that the uh, source of the internet uh, blog was from the uh, Toronto District School Board, at which time we contacted them. And with uh, the help of them, the Toronto District School Board um, IT security unit, which did an incredible job, they were able to determine where the computer was and we were able to determine who was using it. We've been working closely with Toronto Police uh, and you know, should anything need to be uh, changed moving forward, we'll obviously talk about that. As for the suspect, we can't, he can't be named rather, and that's because of his age. He appeared in court after his arrest on Tuesday, charged with uttering threats of bodily harm and of death. He's now out on bail under strict conditions and is being monitored by police. We'll hear more from the Toronto District School Board coming up later in the show. Well, Donald Trump announcing new members of his cabinet. Some of the president-elect's picks, like a former pro wrestling CEO, are raising eyebrows. Linda McMahon, the co-founder of the WWE, chosen to lead the Small Business Administration. She did run, but lost twice for the Senate. Trump also touting her as a job creator. McMahon donating $6 million to a Trump super PAC. Now, here's the real eyebrow raiser this morning. Trump's choice for the head of the Environmental Protection Agency, Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt. He is a prominent climate change denier, a longtime critic of the EPA, even suing the agency over its power plant regulations. Well, two days to go until Toronto FC takes on Seattle for the MLS Cup. And today, both teams will be on the pitch at BMO Field for their pre-match workout. Now, Toronto is the favorite heading into Saturday's tilt. Not only will the Reds have home field advantage, but they've also had a more difficult road through the postseason. Now, later this morning, TFC legend Dwayne De Rosario will be here to chat about this weekend's championship match and, of course, the actual MLS Cup will be here as well. It's probably one of the best looking cups in Major League Sports. I'm going to put I'm going to put the uh, the World Series mm -hmm. uh, cup yeah, first. Yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put MLS second. No Stanley it's Cup. It's a good no. no, you know Stanley Cup's uh, it's not a bad looking yeah, not cup. Bad. Mm -hmm. It's plain mm -hmm. compared to this. Mm -hmm. Great cup I'd put before the Stanley Cup. Oh, okay. Great cup's a better looking cup. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so I'm just reading over my shoulder here. Samsung mm -hmm. is basically making the Note 7 unusable in Canada. Ah, what? okay. So Samsung has been working so hard trying to get people to turn in their Note 7s. A lot of people don't want to. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're going to make it even more difficult for you. So Winston will tell you what you need to know coming up after this. Stay with you us. Want to.